And the devil is loose. I trick some people. Give him them virus. Virus of bleaching. Virus of tattooing. Virus of piercing. You know what I mean, preach? Virus of chichiman. But I mean, for him, I mean, fish, I mean, shot. Where we come? My viewers and subscribers, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. You know that we are all about law and order. You understand? We don't care about what nobody wants to say. We promote law, not lawlessness. From your criminal, we are anti-criminal poor law enforcement you understand anything to do with the law you understand so yes welcome to the jamaica young police center this is part two of our report um you know our historical events that happened in jamaica you know exposing the lies that the world has been spreading about my little island that jamaica is a homophobic island and the people are homophobic you understand so with this video and what um his excellency the late gay king kevin o smith has exposed and showed the the international media that they are hypocrites and liars you understand because what he has was what he was able to achieve no other guy has ever achieved that to have so many powerful people in his corner and was able to have all these young boys for his sexual appetite you understand and he was able to even committed murder and was about to kill 144 people in his church and you don't see nothing about it you haven't seen anything about it in the international um, media most importantly let's not forget that it was former prime minister Portia simpson miller of the pmp lgbtq party plus the first Jamaican Prime Minister to ever come out to the public supporting the repeal of the Burberry Act, the Burberry Law in Jamaica, which the British have left on the books for us to live as a people. I know they want to get rid of it. You understand? So, you know, they, you know uh, most of us as black people from Jamaica, you understand whether, you know, um, we are all descendants of slaves. You know, our ancestors were brought here from Africa to work the plantation and build wealth for the white people in Europe. You understand? So now that you know, they are, they have, they have wandered over the country to our ancestors from 1962. So, and this is where we are now. You know, most of the English tradition will practice because um, they have socialized us. You understand what I'm saying? Through socialization, most of their um culture we have adapted so we don't have any culture in a person as black people is what english has passed on to us you understand so his excellency king of the gays kevin o smith was very involved in his in the pmp party new monday to make to make the bogre la goa we are make it legal in jamaica uh, nobody don't care what people want to do behind closed doors. You're free to do what you want to do at Jamaica and the world and the whole. You understand what I'm saying? So, but let's be honest now. If it, if it were the other way around, Jamaican, Jamaican media house report the murders of homosexuals. All right, let me rephrase it then. If it was the other way around, the Jamaican media houses report murders are killings uh, killings and murders is the same killings of gays by et, by a heterosexual pastor in jamaica and all the security forces in jamaica prevented a massacre of 144 gay people in jamaica you would have cnn fox news msnbc nbc cbs abc bbc espn and all the international media would be in Jamaica reporting about how homophobic Jamaican people are. But because it is the other way around, they don't want the world to hear about it. Not even a pan knock about it in the international 
media houses. I was watching BBC and I haven't seen anything about it. And it's eight days now. You understand? And I've, I've seen years ago because I frequently watch MSNBC. You understand? Don't watch Fox News anymore. That's that like from 14, I'm 13 years ago. Going, yes. You understand? I don't watch Fox News anymore because it's a racist station. But I watch MSNBC. And I remember a few years ago when, same place in Montego Bay where a guy um, dressed up and pretend that he's a girl and, you know, went and start dancing and a man and then thing and then man realized that he's a, that the, that the, 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 the girl, he, he, he think that he's dancing was in fact a man. And you know, you know, the next thing you know that a Jamaica, you know, that you bruise a man, ego and embarrass him. He will kill you. If you step on a man, shows a Jamaica. You're not tell him sorry, he will kill you. So imagine a man, I'll do that and him thing, a man, you know, I'll wind up on a next man and thinks he's a woman and him have him, him so just at attention and then him find out, yeah, he, 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 he will kill anything for that. That's how it is. You know, because he don't know. Although him kill the man and him thing, the man where kill the, the, the man where he may not wind up on, that the man there, Nobody can run no joke with him about it in the cars. He will kill them too. Because that's a big, big bruise. A man bruise. The man, you understand what I'm saying? Violation. You know what I'm saying? The man has a problem if the man they does. You know, but big, big the report by MSNBC, um, Rachel Maddo and them thing there. And them dip on it for days and all them thing there. And I, I'm a vivid viewer of MSNBC. And I don't see nothing from it. Nothing from what you have a look up. Um, a black guy over um, over there named um, Jonathan um, K. Part, who I might talk about, you know, him husband and all them things. But hey, you know, I feel them thing that, you know, you know what I'm saying, Rasta. So, anyway, back to um, His Excellency Kevin O. Smith. You understand? Was a figure larger than life in Jamaica. He was very intelligent. This man, IQ, have a high, high, high IQ. Some people say mad, uh, I mean, I, well, most scientists them say mad too, you know, you understand? He was very intelligent and afraid, controlling, very manipulative, and commanded the respect of even the former prime minister, Portia Simpson Miller, and the former finance minister, Omar Davey. And guess what? Dr. Peter Phillips too, and other influential people in the Jamaica political arena and business community. But people, what most people didn't even know that this man is so powerful that, you know, that he, <laughs> um, Kevin Smith, um, his excellency, the gay king, Kevin Smith, it's two people now from the PMP, this man has to retire, you know, Peter Phillips and Portia Simpson, you know, because he was so instrumental in the mandate of the PMP LGBTQ party that's the lose badly the last election you know you understand and if people have said Jamaicans are homophobic I can't tell you that it, that's a lie because we had a prime minister the guy that named PJ Patterson you know the the king of corrupt um, government corruption if it's as it has been rumored for years you know that PJ Patterson is a flaming um, gay guy you know and a treat and the Jamaican people them vote for him even the opposition seat leader of the GLP, a conservative party, a white man named Edward Siaga is dead now. I, when he was running against PJ, you know, his, his wife, you know, was a white white woman and a white Jamaican, you know, was pregnant, you know, and you don't know that was the mantra, the things that the man a gallus and them thing, and PJ is a, you understand what I'm saying? And that's that's how they come by the name. Chichi man is PJ, you know, you understand what I'm saying? And it become music and you understand. But, you know, that's, that's how it is. So Jamaican people are not homophobic because if they were, they would not vote for this man just by the mere thing that it is rumor that the man is that. So, you know, back to the topic. Now that the, um, His Excellency, the gay king, Kevin O. Smith is dead. And it depends on who you're talking to on the topic. His Excellency, the gay king, Kevin O. Smith's legacy has been solidified as a Jamaican gay king before October 23rd, 2021, when he was arrested by the police for killing a sacrifice, a sacrifice, sacrifice of three of his congregants, the man operated a gay church on the island as a cult leader, king of the, of the gays, who was about to commit a massacre of 144 mostly heterosexual people that will live, in, live on 
infamy. The late Dr. Peter King, a flaming gay PMP LGBTQ plus member, was killed by one of his gay lovers at his uptown house. And his lover severed the man's soldier. You know, if a Jamaica you don't know, you know, we say body. So most 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 of the white people they never know that unless they have you understand. So Dr. Peter King um boyfriend boy cut off him body and put it in his mouth. You understand? After their ses capades. It goes to show you that Jamaican gays are the ones who kill other gays, not the Jamaican heterosexual or the gunmen, in which most of most of them are gays too. Most of our gunmen, murderers in Jamaica, are mostly gays. But they're not telling you that. You understand? Dr. Peter King has left some very interesting evidence on videotape, videotapes in Jamaica that the police have. To date, those states with the prominent and respected Jamaicans are sealed from the Jamaican public. And why are the authorities keeping them sealed? You know, those, that's the biggest question that people have been asking since then. Those who have watched these tapes are either dead or have lost their mental capacity to think and function as human beings. So basically what um, people, you know, police officer who watch these things, most of them, they either dead or liar. They most either dead or them get mad. I don't know what them see on the tape. It is not a figment of one imagination because they are in fact mad or dead. The murders are unsolved. Attorney at law, Barry Bryan from Britain, who was privy to see the tapes and knew the faces and names of these Jamaican men who were on the tapes, were, was killed in his residency. And to date, to this day, no suspect or anyone is being questioned by the police. Isn't that ironic or a big case like that and the liar will represent the man and just kill him? No, no, up to now they haven't found anyone. Remember, Barry Bryan up to him living on For the big week, them live and all them things. So, we understand. Who's silencing these witnesses? I don't know the answer, but it's kind of spooky, you know, like a doppel show, believe you me. One thing that he has taken away from the late Dr. King, Dr. Peter King, by the gay king, Kevin Osimit, is that he made his gay lifestyle mainstream because he was rubbing shoulders with some of the biggest shakers in Jamaica and around the world. Most of the people who were privy to the late Dr. Peter King's murder case are dead, are mad, because their cardinal sin was to watch these videos of prominent Jamaican men having sex with little boys and men. And family members and the public at large were able to identify prominent and respected Jamaican men and these we are doing things that are not for public consu con public consumption and unusual noises these men would make in these sexual proclivities. I want the world to know that in Jamaica homosexuals roam their communities and streets freely and flamboyantly than ever before and they don't hide it at all. Most people don't look or bother them because they know that they are wired differently and are not responsible for how they are, they feel, behave, or act. To date, today is November 1st. Jamaica has over 1,200 murders for the year 2021, and not a single victim was killed because they were gay. It is the other way around. His Excellency. The gay king, Kevin O. Smith, has shown the world gays killing other people in Jamaica is not a fluke, but it is the truth. And we know that that truth is permanent. The problem that most Jamaican people have is for others telling them what they must do when they can't go to another country and tell their citizens what they must do. So, you know, one of the biggest problems that the Jamaican people have is when white uh, white people want to tell the Jamaican people them how them to live and all them things. After, you know, they have been enslaved, black people have been on a bandage for over 400 years. And now if black people talk up and they do not agree with white people with something, 
first in the news was is economic terrorism upon them. So black people is still being terrorized up to this day. Black people is not allowed to be black. Black people, they want black people to be white, and that is, that is wrong. You understand? Let black people be black. Yeah? And just like how the whites them, let the Arabs them be themselves, because the difference with the Arabs and African people, you know, the Arabs, you know, if you try to change them and try them to be white and them thing, then these people, you know, they, they, uh, yeah, I think any of them suicide bomber and them, hey, they are some crazy people, you know. So not because we as black people, you know, we're peaceful and we miss a peaceful in terms of, you, you understand what I'm saying, I'm talking Jamaican people because a Jamaica, them label say we're homophobic, you understand? And Jamaican people, we are not homophobic, but not because we are not doing what the Arabs are, you know, our, our people in Africa doing. Because Jamaican people violent, you know, but their violence is to kill other Jamaicans. You understand? Them, if you step on a man, choose a Jamaican, he will kill you. You understand? And if you don't want to tell him sorry, that's how illiterate our people are. So it's not like Jamaican people are not violent, you know, but if you do not trouble them, them fine. Jamaican people do not kill gays or because they are gays. Gays always kill their lovers. That's how it is there. You understand? Although some of our music, the messages from the artists are to kill gays, which is entertainment and nothing else. It's a figure of speech. does not encourage others to follow through because the Jamaican, because the Jamaican people know that they are a part of our society. And I have no idea why they are different. I never try to delve into the, into the science or spirituality of these people. Although the gays are very violent and enjoy killing each other, it is easier for a gay to kill another heterosexual than a woman who is a lesbian. You understand? So if you're listening to what I just said, you know, it is easier for a gay to kill another heterosexual and a woman than to kill someone who is gay. Unless that gay person is their loved one because of jealousy and they can't control their emotion. Remember that most of our murderers in Jamaica are either gay or bisexual, most of them. Most of the time when police kill some of these gunmen in shootout and stuff like that, these guys have um, pampas. You understand, you have a guy that come from a um, um, Catburn Pen named Grumpy. You know, he was wanted one time for five murder, killed five people. And um, I bought him part of Towail. And he ran away and went to Tivoli Gardens. When he was killed by, um, you know, a great detective, he passed away. The big, 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 big man. Grumpy, a big, big old man. He had on Pampas. You understand? Same thing with Christopher Brown from, from um, Payne Avenue. And I can go on and on. Most of these murderers in Jamaica, mass murderers, most of them are gay people. Anytime they are, are killed by police and when they go to post-mortem, that's when they realize that, wait, this guy was gay. He have one pampas. You understand what I'm saying? Or, you know, die apart, what you want to call it. So Jamaican people don't, they are the one that kill. They are the, you understand what I'm saying? Don't be surprised if Tesha Miller is gay. Can I remember that his leader you know, for the Klansman gang was a gay guy, you know, Bulby. A bulbul rape um, a taxi man that they call Ron Wolf from Eltham. You understand? That's how he got the name Ron Wolf because Bulbul rape him, Donovan Bennett, the leader of Klansman. So the biggest gang in Jamaica that this guy um, was in charge of, Klansman, the leader, Donovan Bulbul Smith, he was a gay guy. You understand? But they're not telling people them thing. Eh? At the end of the day, if the society doesn't have standards, then things that have been passed on to us by the British are no longer a part of our culture and become archaic behavior. As a people, we do not know our true names, our culture, and the British have socialized our ancestors and us, and we happily continue with their indoctrination to this day. You understand? Socialization refers to the preparation of newcomers to become members of an existing group to think feel and act in the way the group consider appropriate from the group's point of view. It is a process of a member placement. Such a wider diverse situation, a child rearing, teaching someone a new game, a new game, 
orienting a new member of an organization, pairing someone who has no experience or liking to the gay lifestyle and get into the community as a gay, as the gay king. His Excellency Kevin Smith was able to do convincingly. So he was able, Kevin O. Smith was able to socialize a lot of young boys in Montego Bay. It showed the depth of his IQ to get several young men to abandon the traditional Jamaican Gallus lifestyle and embrace such a lifestyle in an island that is dubbed the homophobic capital of the Caribbean. You understand? In the Caribbean. Now the world knows what happened at His Excellency Church and His Excellency the Gay King, Dr. Kevin O. Smith, compound in Montego Bay, St. James, Jamaica. Jamaica and the Jamaican people are not homophobic and they, are, and they do not kill gays. It is the other way around. The gay king, His Excellency Kevin O. Smith, was about to commit, commit a massacre of killing 144 Jamaicans. And he was stopped by members of the Jamaican security force who were quick on the scene due to information and intelligence received from a member of the same church. Jamaica is one of the most violent islands in the Caribbean Sea, where criminals are revered, celebrated, emulated, elevated, lauded by the political apparatus. Jamaica is a place where a man, a person, can kill 11 Jamaicans and receive a 20-year sentence for killing this amount of people with the possibility of parole after spending 15 years in prison to return to society to kill more people again and receive a slap on the wrist. The legislation and judicial apparatus in Jamaica made the islands a criminal's paradise in the Caribbean Sea. And now we have the internationally acclaimed title, the gay paradise in the Caribbean Sea. And no country, media houses or organization can take that away from Jamaica. Because if there was no evidence that gay people are the most protected people in Jamaica, look no further than the late King, His Excellency, Dr. Kevin O. Smith. As the world is watching, the Jamaican society evolving in every way that even the dead enslaved black people must be turning in their grave to see that a society that has given the enslaved people freedom due to their persistence fighting the enslaver by using violence as a means to achieve such freedom and has embraced the violence and in turn the violence now is turned on their families, neighbors, friends and fellow Jamaicans. His Excellency Gay King Kevin O. Smith was such an influential figure, larger than life. He was rubbing shoulders with former Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller, Dr. Peter Phillips, Dr. Omar Davis, and other big wig PMP LGBTQ members and the business community. And they was they were proposing to repeal the burglar law. The British left on the books when they handed over the island to our boss slaves. Jamaica society has watched and witnessed the growth of our beloved island from the, from the criminal's paradise to the new gay paradise in the Caribbean Sea and a terrorist paradise in the making. Not a single international organization cannot in good conscience label Jamaican people as being homophobic anymore because not only that would be the greatest lie of all time, but it would be a dishonor to the late his Excellency, the Gay King, Kevin O. Smith, who have shown the world that you can live a life as a gay person with the blessing, support, admire, revere, love by the Jamaican populace. Jamaica is officially the gay paradise in the Caribbean Sea. His Excellency, the Gay King, Kevin O. Smith, has, has embarrassed those who have been demonizing, denigrating, denigrating and propagating the Jamaican people all these years as homophobic. I have been truthfully telling the world that my experience was nowhere near what others are promoting in the international arena. The Jamaica Young Police Channel has been for years defending the Jamaican people 
as not being homophobic. The Jamaican people are tolerant of others and their way of life and do not care about these people's lifestyle one iota. Who have I sleep with, as I have experienced it first and growing up and working in Jamaica. Jamaicans do not kill others because they are gay. It is the gays who have always killed their lovers. And that is the truth. And the truth is permanent. Those who know that the truth is absolute and permanent can only speak and tell the world the truth and not the lies that these unconscionable people have been selling for years. I hope that this lie die a natural death, that the gay king, his excellency, Dr. Kevin O. Smith has exposed these people as liars and eaters of the Jamaican people and their culture. Last but not least, our deepest condolences to the family of the late Constable Orlando Iron. Irons was lost his life during the accident which claimed the life of the late king, his excellency, Dr. Kevin O. Smith. Thanks for watching the Jamaican Young Police Channel. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, yes, man, not only listen to the video, but make your post, man. Post, comment below. All right, one love and all the best. Jamaica is not a homophobic society, and the world must stop it. Peace.